Oh dear God. We've drawn Lightning and Sally, Nick and Judy, Toothless, Ola, Appa, Stitch, Ooh, Mushu, and Donkey as humans. Rich! Oh God. <laughs> Is that a bagel? That's a lot of characters. And this time it was really close, but you guys voted for Sid! <laughs> the Sid! Needless to say, I'm a little excited. Oh, are you sure? Shut <laughs> Put the floor bagel down! <laughs> Lizard. And well, for body shape, he'd be a nice round, a juicy a purr. <laughs> this is the guy who, like, always has Cheeto dust on his hands, even though he's not eating Cheetos! Where does he get the Cheetos? No! No bagel! Stop eating scungy floor bagel! Just some last minute touches, and say hello to our favorite slacker! <laughs> Hold on, the next character here. It's been quite a while since I've drawn any interesting pictures of my husband. <laughs> And the lovely uptime princess dress up has given me a golden opportunity. So that means it's time to draw my husband. Let's find an outfit for me to draw him in. You know, it's pretty, but I don't think it's quite screaming Goddess Richard to me. <laughs> There's just so many beautiful options for him. I found the perfect outfit. I'm gonna turn him into a witchy princess for fall. I always wonder if one of these years, one of these drawings is gonna make him realize that he should have left me just years ago. How long has Rich's beard gotten recently? Mom, a secret mission. Mom, a secret. I can't hear you. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? I don't know. Since his beard's gotten pretty long and he's a witch, I'm gonna make his beard star-shaped. I've always thought Rich had really good legs for thigh highs or fishnets. Not to mention the dumpy. <laughs> No! There is a lot of detail in these clothes, but that's fine, you know what? Because only the best, only the best for my pumpkin spice. <laughs> you guys have finished me witchy richy! But what does witchy richy think? What did you call <laughs> Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best time princess to me, honey. <laughs> Go and find your own outfit. Find the game here. It's Valentine's Day, and usually that means my wife draws me. <laughs> but this time I'm gonna draw her. Fused with somebody random. And who am I combining with the love of my life? Big Bird. Oh God, she's gonna hate me. <laughs> I really gotta make sure I do a good job, so I'm gonna trace. Nobody tell my wife. She may be half Big Bird, but I'll be danged if she doesn't have some smexy legs. If anyone's worried that she might wake up, don't. I've got it covered. She'll never know. I finished it. I'm definitely not getting a present this year. It's time to show her now. Richard, you have to stop doing this. I know that it's not you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So guess what, honey? What? I drew you. Oh, good. Okay, look. <laughs> it's oh. you. Fuse this big bird. <laughs> Find the generator here. So I've drawn lightning and Sally. Toothless. Oh, look. Sid, Wally, and Eve, and a lot of others as humans. But this time, you guys overwhelmingly voted for Tom and Jerry? I'm really surprised, but let's do Tom and Jerry! Since Tom and Jerry was actually a show started in the 40s, I'm gonna give them 40s outfits. I asked Rich if they ever wore any outfits in the show before, and just, I, I can't put him in that room. He looks good! No. Not doing the orange and the, and the green. Oh, uh, but that's the best part. No! <laughs> no, it's not. I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare. Well, Tom definitely cares a little bit more about his appearance. You know, he's out here looking looking suave in his best suit, but Jerry, <laughs> Jerry's looking ratty. You like my pun? Oh, honey. <laughs> hey, nice pun. <laughs> I love Jerry and all, but Tom, Tom's sitting a bit different here. What does that mean? Nothing? I'm, I'm not simping for Tom. Stop it! Here they are, Tom and Jerry. They have never looked better. Vote on the next character here. I'm gonna draw the vaccines as people. Starting with Moderna. I feel like each vaccine has basically become like its own Hogwarts house. <laughs> instead of having things like Godric Gryffindor, we have Madame Moderna. And since the Madame is 94% effective, I am going to make her a strong, independent woman. I mean, you know, she's out here saving lives with them thick thighs. I'm also making her just a little bit older, you know, because because Madame Moderna has only been approved for adults. <laughs> <laughs> what is that face about? What do you mean? <laughs> that the vaccine's only for adults? Yeah. They, they haven't done the testing. What are you? <laughs> wait, what are you talking about? I feel like 
<laughs> the kind of person you'd meet at the bar and two hours later she's your best friend. Completely elegant, but completely willing to throw down if necessary. See, who's that sexy vaccine I see over there? Oh, that's Madame Moderna. <laughs> <laughs> As artists, it's sometimes hard to tell how far we've come and if we've really gotten any better. So as a way to test if I've gotten any better, I'm going to redraw some of my old artwork. And my loving husband Rich has decided that I'm going to redraw this piece that I made back in 2015. I, I had never done digital artwork back then and um, I was kind of obsessed with white gel pens. I'm like 30 minutes picking out one white gel pen and I'm like, can I just go home? I'm sorry! You know the one thing I still do though? What? The, the outline. BAM! Outline! Oh, what's that as an outline? What do we have here? Another outline! Why do I do this? What is it accomplishing? It may be seven years later, but you know what doesn't change? My need to do incessant detail! You see the pores? I added pores! Why, you might ask? Well, I don't know. No one else is going to see them, but I do. I see them. There's even texture in her freaking socks, man. <laughs> I'm amazing! This one sort of gives like Becky vibes, you know? But this one, this one's Deborah. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> I finally finished with Deborah, and uh, I, think, I think my style's changed just a wee tad in the last seven years. Which one do you guys like better? <laughs> what? What are you yelling about? Person. <laughs> the lemon? You said you had our block. Pretty please. Oh With lemons on top. Oh <laughs> so apparently we're doing this. What if lemons were alive? <laughs> I guess we're just gonna start with like the shape of a lemon? He's a lemon, so he's gotta be like a sourpuss with his nose in the air. And I think he'd be like a very like pompous, uptight, rich kid. <laughs> My da da drives a Rolls Royce. <laughs> rich, I've started drawing. You can put the lemon down He's now. My friend. His name is Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, Leonard's real best friend is Salty. No. This is Salty. Okay, here's the lemon. Here he is. <laughs> And if you want to learn how to make characters like that, come on September 9th to Varsity Tutors. It's all about fall, it's online, it's free. I hope to see you guys there. You can find the info here. Wanna play a game? Oh god. <laughs> well, too bad, it's guess who? But for those not in the know, this is a game where Rich has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. All right, Rich, tell me about this character. Well, he's kind of tall. He's tall. And he's strong, like... <laughs> Is this puh enough for you? Uh, it's pretty puh. It's pretty puh. I just want to make sure it's not lacking a puh. He's got a ton of hair, like so much hair. Oh, is it like, is it like healthy hair or like? Um, he conditions. <laughs> we got the hair, we got the bod, we got the facade. How's the fit? Uh, what fit? His clothes. What's he wearing? Nothing. <laughs> I can't draw that, Rich. Okay, well, he's wearing a fur coat. Why am I doing this? <laughs> oh, his hair and his coat or whatever are blue and purple. Here's mine! Wow! What was it? Sully! No, no, no. I just gotta know. What if Disney villains became princesses? So far, we've done Jafar, Hades, Gaston, Dr. Facilier. And Kronk! But this time it's gonna be a little different because it's time to do the god of mischief himself, Loki! There are no men like me. And there definitely won't be any princesses like you either. <laughs> Every time I draw a sassy princess, I always feel the need to put like a really high slit up her dress. I did the same thing with Hades, and you cannot tell me these two wouldn't be best friends. I also feel the need to point out that Loki can already look like this if you'd like to, because he can literally transform into anything or anyone. Wait. Ah, what was that for? <laughs> Just checking. Oh, and she's got to have an animal sidekick, and I think we already know what Loki's is going to be. He transformed himself into a snake, and he knows that I love snakes. So I went to pick up the snake to admire it, and he transformed back into himself, and he was like, yeah, it's me, and he stabbed me. Loki is definitely the kind of princess that if she finds out your prince is cheating on you, bam, he's got itching powder in his undies. Wait, oh my god, you got... <laughs> I'm in love. I'm I'm gonna get married to this woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you guys have heard the text of speech has changed. And uh it's a little different. Well hello there, my cute witty boy. <laughs> and since we know nothing about her, <laughs> I'm gonna draw her! So first and foremost, she's a valley girl. <laughs> We're talking double mocha chai latte up on a Thursday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> And to that end, I feel like her outfit really needs to emulate a certain somebody from the movie Clueless. <laughs> Since I'm drawing like the TikTok voice instead of like this actual woman, I'm gonna make her look a little robotic. And you might be asking yourself, Audrey, 
Why does she look like the happy face emoji had a baby with the freaking son? Because she could be talking about a bag of icky old toenails and still sound like liquid sunshine. We gotta give this poor woman some reading glasses because she's gotta read all of our crap. Rich, I think she needs a pet. I'm gonna let her choose. Kitty kit tickety. Goosey goosey goosey. <laughs> Guys, today's my wife's birthday. Since she's always drawing me, this time I'm gonna draw her. Fused with someone random. <laughs> Who's lucky enough to be fused with my beautiful wife, Smokey the Bear. <laughs> I'm gonna do it now. It's gonna suck. We have to make a really pretty hot bear. S the Smokey the Hot Bear. The smoking Hot Bear. Just gonna admit right now that I'm gonna be tracing just a little bit. Just, just a little. They might have a lot in common. Like Audrey's cute. And Smokey's a bear and he's cute. As much as I would like to, I'm not gonna draw her shirtless. And if that's why you're here, you can get out, get out. It's done and uh, it looks great. And oh my God, I thank God I got her a good present too. Now we're gonna see what the birthday girl thinks. Hey honey. Why are you videoing me? I drew you. <laughs> you drew me? Yeah. Okay, look. <laughs> it's you fused with Smokey the bear. It's your bear ears! Find the generator here. Okay, we've drawn Lightning and Sally, Nick and Judy, Toothless, Olaf, Appa, and finally Stitch as humans. That's a lot of characters, uh -huh. Rich. That's a lot of characters, uh -huh. Rich! And this time, <laughs> it was really close, almost a three-way tie, but you guys voted for Moshe! So let's turn this travel-sized dragon into a full-sized man! So, I'm making him look a little bit like the other ancestors, but with his own dramatic flair. Because, you know, you don't meet a man dragon like this every dynasty. And that being said, his outfit's gonna be just a little bit more on the fancy side. Because, you know, our boy knows how to dress. Don't you for a single second think that his fanciness means that he would not be completely willing to bite a hairy man's double-cheeked up on a Thursday <laughs> afternoon butt what? to save China! That was vile. Let's get down to business and draw Mushu! <laughs> you go, Dragon Man! You can vote on who I'm going to draw next in my bio. So, I've done a lot of different things as humans over the years. And every once in a while, a company reaches out and they say, Hey, Audrey, what would we look like if we were humans? And I say, what if Febreze was alive? So I think Febreze would be like the Greek god of scent. And may the great god Febreze rain down on us with his heavenly scents through his beautiful cloud. Which kind of makes sense since Febreze air uses 100% natural propellant and water-based formula. <laughs> They trademarked air. Don't breathe. And since he is the Greek god of smell, he needs to have a nose the size of Mount Everest. I'm also making him look very chill and comfortable because a good scent cures all. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> now nope, still broken, but it smells great in here. You know, because it eliminates odors. <laughs> I just realized that this man would smell absolutely amazing. And Janelle, he ain't half bad looking either. Excuse me. <laughs> Step aside, boys, because this is hot god summer. You can find a piece of this hot god in my bio. So I've been wondering, what if fast food restaurants went to private school? What? You know these icons now, but what were they before? A jock, a nerd, a goth, starting with Wendy's and Taco Bell. Uh -huh. Now you might think Wendy's is sassy now, but I can guarantee you she was even more sassy back then. <laughs> back in the day during her goth phase. <laughs> Wendy's was a good student, but she sometimes got mouthy with her professors. <laughs> Draco Malfoy. <laughs> and at the school talent show, her roasts are fresh, never frozen. <laughs> Bitch, do you know what these burger skulls say to me? What? They say I will absolutely curse your entire franchise if you keep copying up on my homework! What? Taco Bell, on the other hand, was a good boy with nacho sunglasses. <laughs> and what, you may be asking, was his passion before becoming an absolute icon? <laughs> well, they were a band geek. A percussion <laughs> band geek. I know what you're thinking, he may be a band geek, but he's still a blast. <laughs> a Baja blast. <laughs> When I'm modeling his outfit after my husband's old band uniform. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's take a look at the first students to enter fast food private oh, school. Oh. Hey, hello to Wendy's and TV. <laughs> I wish I were this cool or this precious. <laughs> Who do you guys want to see next? I just gotta know. What if Disney villains became princesses? <laughs> we got Jafar, Hades, Gaston, Dr. Fessily, <laughs> the Shadow Man. But now it's time for what I've been waiting for. Crunk! <laughs> Poison. Poison for Cusco. Poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison! Before y'all, like, come for me down in the comments, like, he's not a villain! He's a nice guy! I know! But he deserves this! And besides, he's already halfway there. He can already talk to animals! By the way, the squirrel is apparently called Bucky. I get Bucky a spinach pot. Bro, I am so excited to be 
be drawing another buff princess. Look at those arms! Move over, Gaston. You ain't the soul swole anymore. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, but Kronk will be lifting weights with Gaston in the morning, baking in the afternoon with Tiana, chatting it up with Cinderella's mice in the evenings, pretty much all around. Kronk makes the perfect princess! I think I'm in love. So, when I talk about a Karen, you all know what I'm talking about. But, what do I picture for other names? What would your name look like to me? And we're gonna start with Linda! So, to me, Linda's the kind of person that puts puts girls in the front and boys, boys in the back. back Get in the back! That's right, Linda. Everything you got, you bought, cause boys can't buy your love. <laughs> Linda spends her weekends wine tasting with her girls, Debbie and uh, Mona Lisa in Napa County. <laughs> what? <laughs> and on her couch, she has a pillow that says, Namaste in bed, and her wardrobe consists of these shirts. <laughs> I can honestly say, with my whole heart, there is no one in this world who can take on a Karen, except for a Linda! He's ready to go mitts to mitts with Karen, oven mitts that is. Cause Linda, Linda is the PTA baking champ, her Rice Krispie treats could feed thousands! And without further ado, take a look at Linda! <laughs> what name do you guys want to see next? Let's draw something random with the fusion generator! Whoa. And who will our first character be? Oh, Louisa! <laughs> so they're gonna be strong and gorgeous. Who is she combined with? <laughs> oh! Mr. No! no! Rich, there's, there's, no there's hope! There's hope. Buff Grandma. What? Buff Grandma! So for those not in the know, I have to somehow combine the textbook definition of a crotchety old man <laughs> with a goddess. <laughs> Mommy, you sorry. Well, this is working! really aren't buff, though. Oh! You are wrong. Let me introduce you to uh, Ernest Shepard. She is an 80-year-old bodybuilder, and she could snap you in half. If nothing else, this has taught me one thing. Old women of the world, you do not need life alert. No, no. You need deadlifts. <laughs> Leaving the saving of the earth to the men? I don't think so. Hard of hearing and hard of biceps. <laughs> this is one of the best ones I've ever done. Who's the abuela now? Find the generator here. You guys know Call Me Chris. Chris. Yeah? Well, choice now. I've drawn all of her characters. <laughs> but by gum and gosh, gosh darn it, she made more. So say hello to Carpal Tunnel, because I'm going to draw all of them. <laughs> so why don't we start with someone a little close to a certain Chad's heart? That's right, it's Bex. <laughs> <laughs> We all went through a phase where we thought we were as cool as Bex, but none of us, none of us really were. <laughs> Even you. <Rawr. laughs> uh, I rest my key. Move over, Courtney. I'm betting on Bex. <laughs> and up next is what's that music? <laughs> oh my! If it isn't Scout Leader Boone and his assistant Walter. Okay, so Walter gives me like heavy Dwight Schrute vibes, <laughs> but this guy—he <laughs> reminds me of one man and one man only. <laughs> We have a couple additions to Janet and Riley's family. <laughs> Janet's father and her evil twin sister. And Katrina's got some family, Boris, Svetlana, and James. And then we have Natalie and Tom. Who's your favorite? You guys know Call Me Chris. What's up? Well, a little while back, I drew all of her characters. But there's more. And against my better judgment and tendonitis, I'm going to draw all of them. Why don't we start with Janet and Riley's best friend? Isha, Sergey. <laughs> Katrina must not look strong like man. Katrina looks strong like babe who fight Karens in the forest. And of course her twin boys who look like the Russian version of Fred and George Weasley. Oh, and speaking of Karen. Karen and her son Hunter. Can I speak to your manager? <laughs> Dear God, if I haven't known some Karens in my day. You know, I almost feel bad for Hunter. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you can't forget about our lovely Southern mama, Carol. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, and Carol's two sons, Buddy and Texas, couple of scoundrels. That's right. <laughs> Buddy and Texas have a new sister named Diamond! Let's see, we have the nosy neighbor. She's at it again, Tom. The dog. <laughs> Babushka and Nona. Amy. Bartender. And Courtney. <laughs> Who's your favorite? I'm gonna turn a random photo into a character, and you're gonna help. <laughs> Alright, stop eating Tostitos and find <laughs> me a person to draw. Rich, you're not even looking, you're I eating. I am looking. Give me the chips. No. Give me the chips. No, Give me the chips. No. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm complaining, she's gorgeous. She but... looks like Elsa. She does kind of look like Elsa. Can I have my chips back now? <laughs> okay, we're drawing almost Elsa. <laughs> and almost Elsa is like queen of the necks. <laughs> my god, girl! Okay, confession time. I've kind of like always wanted one of those those cool crown things, but I just I just know I can't pull it off. Aww. I am I am no queen. I do not slay. Oh. Not like this girl, though. Her hair alone. 
could slay millions. <laughs> You're my queen. You could slay me. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <gasps> When did you get a sucker? I don't know. Why didn't you get me know. a sucker? Oh yeah, you're my queen. No, you don't even get me a sucker. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're my queen. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, at least hopefully this queen has a king that loves her. <laughs> Over a year ago, in one of my first random drawing videos, I drew... George Washington. Being dead sexy. <laughs> you know what? It, it really sucked. Oh no, Audrey, it didn't suck. Yes, it did. It's disgusting. But that was a long time ago, so we're going to do a redraw and... And hopefully, hopefully do it better. <laughs> well, my old drawing looks like you picked it up at the discount rack at a dollar store. My new drawing's gonna look like you got it fresh out of the oven at the hot president's wholesale market. This time, I really will turn you into such a babe. He's chopping down the... <gasps> what? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. Is that sexy Washington again? Maybe. What's wrong with you? Don't you, don't you judge me. I can honestly say I did not expect my decisions today to include whether or not Washington had chest hair. When he was a lad, he chopped down cherry trees every morning to help him get sick. And now that he's grown, he don't need to chop trees because he's already built like a brick. I recently helped make a coloring book with other artists on TikTok. It's a lot of familiar pieces you might have seen before. And Rich, I've got an idea. Oh, no. I've got an idea. Richard, darling, uh, me, light of my life. Me. Yes, you. Would you color a page from the book? But I'm Richard does not. Draw. Well, you're not Richard does not color. Oh, and look, you're going to color yourself. Uh. Okay, go. Uh. How do I pick a color? <laughs> you, it's the color wheel, Rich. There's too many. <laughs> are you using? Uh, I don't know. The, the paintbrush? <laughs> There's other brushes! Oh, I like this one! Taking some artistic liberties, are we? What? <laughs> You've never had a pink beard, Rich! Oh god, he's found the light brushes! I am magic power! <laughs> the big reveal! I'm an artist! <laughs> it's beautiful, honey! I know! You can find the coloring book in my bio! Let's draw something random with the fusion generator! <gasps> oh yeah! <laughs> and who will our first character be? Oh, Corella DeVille! And who shall be combined with Miss DeVille? <laughs> I'm sure this is gonna turn out perfect! For those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this evil skunk lady <laughs> combining someone who likes to wear animal pelts with an animal can be a bit of a challenge. I should realize something. It makes sense why this character is obsessed with pelts and there aren't any more mammoths in the world. <laughs> oh, this character's got some bumping hips and you might think Corella, but no, you are mistaken. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> you guys tell me. Do you guys care about Sidella Desla? <laughs> Find the generator here. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> and who will our first character be? Ooh, Rapunzel! Ooh, I a love whole it. New world. That's not Rapunzel. What? <laughs> Get out of the cushion, Rich. No. You can't hide from the cannon! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Oh my no. god! I just want to combine this absolute goddess! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is cursed. Yeah, I've decided to lean a little bit more under her features, and you know what? It was the right choice. A whole new curse! A horrible thing I'm forced to draw! Okay, wait. This actually might be working. Guys, beach ball princess? Yeah, yeah. Beach ball princess? Yeah. I thought I was gonna hit her over the head with the frying pan, but like, I'm on board with this! Like, Shrek who? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Find the generator here! So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about! But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time, we did Jessica! But this time, we're doing the long-awaited, much-debated Chad! So we all know a Chad, but none of them are above the age of 25. What if they are? Well, then they won't be for long. Thank God, I don't know. <laughs>
Oh, and chads don't actually eat food. They are fueled entirely by protein powder, power lifting, and white claw. Now I know what you must be thinking. Not all chads are the same, right? right. Wrong! Without fail, every single chad's wardrobe consists of puka shell necklaces, gray sweatpants, and pastels. <laughs> the only people who wear more pastel than chad is a mom on Easter Sunday. It's almost done, but I feel, I feel like something's missing. <laughs> ah, there we go, the Ray-Bans. <laughs> With that, everyone say hello to your next door neighbor, Chad. He's pretty great. Chad is great. I just gotta know. What if Disney princesses became villains? I've drawn quite a few Disney villains as beautiful princesses. But this time we're switching it up and seeing what would happen if we went the other way. So without further ado, let's make Anna into the villain she was destined to be. And you may be wondering why we're not doing Elsa. We want to see her really let it go. You may be surprised to find out, but Elsa was supposed to be a villain. And I don't think I could improve on these designs. Basically, what would Anna be like if she never found her strong, handsome, good boy and instead went with the Disgusting heart. Sucked in by those beautiful eyes. <laughs> are you pouting? I'm sorry, Luna. You have to go. This is the I think my husband's eyes are ugly corner. Are you freaking serious right now? I think the evil Anna would have very opulent taste to match her brand new disgusting husband. Yeah. Even though Anna has her own crown in the second movie, I'm going to give her Elsa's crown from the first movie. Because she definitely killed her for it. <laughs> Here she is in all of her evil glory. <laughs> who do you guys want to see next? So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? <laughs> Last time we did Linda, fabulous Linda. But this time we're doing Mike. 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 <laughs> First and foremost, Mike's entire personality exists in his front lawn. <laughs> about it, think about it. Have you ever met a young Mike? No. No! They all emerge at the age of 35 from either perfectly mown grass or the home improvement aisle of Home Depot. Mikes radiate like pure dad energy. What if there's a younger Mike. Oh, he won't exist for long. What? They'll get him. What the oh, and you might be thinking to yourself, Mike's entire personality is just grass and grills, but you'd be wrong! You'd be so wrong! If you happen to find yourself invited into the home of a Mike, you might notice their superb sound system. That's in order to watch all of their war documentaries! When you turn up the bass, you can really feel the explosions! But come springtime, all the Mikes shed their North Face coats and don their Wrangler jeans only to cut them into the fabulous jorts! Let me introduce you to your friendly neighborhood, Mike! <laughs> Okay, we've drawn Lightning and Sally, Nick and Judy, the Toothless, Olaf, Appa, Stitch, and even Mushu as humans. That's a lot of characters. <laughs> you good? I just wanted some milk. And this time it was so close, but you guys voted for Donkey. Hey, me, anyone. Oh, oh, pick me. Oh, I know. So let's turn this burrow into a bullio. <laughs> as always, we start it with the body type, and he's got he's to be, you know, pretty, pretty thick around the middle with just... <laughs> Legs for seconds. <laughs> He's gotta be like, like in your face, obnoxious and loud, like, <laughs> like me. No. no. You're right. He's not like me. He's actually cool. He's the friend of the road trip, trying to get everyone to still sing show tunes. Three hours into the road trip, <laughs> he's got some major cheekage on this oh, man. He's an ass man. Oh my god. I meant his face. Jeez. <laughs> Say hello to Donkey. Vote on the next character here. Wanna play a game? Oh, God. <laughs> so for those not in the know, this is Guess Who? A game where Rich has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. Now, Rich, I know you're excited, but please, <laughs> if you could calm down for a moment to tell me about her face and body shape. Well, she's short and round. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Slow down there, tiger. I'm picturing like a, like a spunky old lady. I don't know, she's like a kid, but like spunky. A spunky kid. Old, yeah. A spunky kid. <laughs> We got a small round spunky kid? Tell me about her clothes. You're gonna hate this. <laughs> it's like the clothes you used to wear as a child. <laughs> no! <laughs> Dare I even ask about the hair? Um, think about Lord Farquaad, but with uh, poofier hair. <laughs> oh my god, this poor child! Colors, go! Black hair, yellow pants, pink shirt, and brown skin. Okay, <laughs> here's who I made! Who was it? It was Dora the Explorer! Oh my god! I'm getting a new tattoo. Oh, no. <laughs> but I'm not completely sure what I'm going to get, so help me pick my next tattoo. <laughs> Option number one, we have this gorgeous piece with me and Rich. Oh, he's so, he's so cute. Look at his <laughs> freaking face. I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you right on my ace. <laughs> I don't want my face to touch the toilet. <laughs> Option number two, 
There's just something about what? sexy Washington. You cannot get that. I can so get that. But the question <laughs> is, where do I get him? On your nowhere. On your nowhere limb. Where is where is my nowhere limb? Audrey. <laughs> what? You cannot get him. <laughs> Moving on. Apps <laughs> number three. French toast. So French toast was actually the first character I've ever animated. You disapprove. He's very near and dear to my heart, lovelies. <laughs> And option number four is something my husband's drawn. I haven't seen it. Show me. It's he was a very oh big Look, I gave you pockets. Oh, good. Drawing challenge with Casey Art. Oh, and uh, Rich is here. <laughs> and we are going to draw each other as a mer people, which means I have to draw this saucy bean. And you, you have to draw me. I'm sorry. Yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, you, you, get to, you get to watch. <laughs> okay, 20 minutes and go. There is, there is no time for water. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking instead of a mermaid, you're more like, like an electric eel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bee! We gonna draw ourselves an electric eel, Casey, and then we take it higher. Okay, I'm coloring. What are you doing? What are you doing? I wanted to be included. First, we have Casey's, so look at me, I'm a tiger. <laughs> And then we have mine! <laughs> Late entry there! <laughs> so, I've been thinking, what if the Olympics was made by Pixar? I am going to pick six athletes and draw them as Pixar characters. <laughs> Starting with... Why only six? Why, Why only six? 2020 Olympics, there are 11,500... <laughs> good at making characters that make us feel strong and motivated and nobody does that better than Simone Biles. Simone is not only an amazing athlete but an amazing person and I am so glad to be drawing her. And of course her amazing teammate Suni Lee. Pixar would totally push Suni's commanding attitude thus the jawline. And next we have a very celebratory Katie Ledecky. I would I would swim with you anywhere woman. I would swim with Oh and I can't forget about our TikTok lord and savior Ilona Mar. Ilona I wanted to include your hat but like come on. And I gotta include Luigi, the 13 year old who won gold in skateboarding. And last but not least, from Philippines, Hydaelyn Diaz, the first person to win gold for her country. I would watch that Pixar movie. Heck yeah. I'm gonna draw Amazon as a person. So I picture Amazon as like kind of like a delivery man or like a, a traveling salesman. Somewhat like, a, like an everyday Santa Claus. You know, he has everything, he delivers everywhere, but he doesn't sneak into your house. Like Santa Claus, however, Amazon sometimes forgets to deliver your packages, even though you've ordered them so many times and it's been weeks. Where are my kitchen chairs at, Amazon? It says they're getting here tomorrow. Oh, does it? Does it say that? Does it say that? For anyone who wants their packages, you know, a little bit faster, you can always order from Amazon Prime, Amazon's little helper fairy. She's small. She's fast. What? She won't drop your packages off last. <laughs> He's gotta be like a little muscular to carry all those packages, but he has to have strong, sinewy legs that can. Excuse me. <laughs> Should I leave you alone with your Amazon drive? No, shut up! <laughs> Cap toys, video games, and toast! He's got it all. Is there something you desire? Well, call Amazon, because he's got your back. And don't forget about Prime! I'm the strong sinewy leg man. Stop! We are finally gonna watch Soul. <laughs> and I was challenged to find out what we would look like if we were souls. Are you ready? Hit and play. This should go without saying, but... Spoilers ahead! So apparently... When you die, you become like these green flubber things. Wait, does I don't. We're dead. <laughs> let's just let's just not talk about that. Okay, wait. You're telling me you can't bring your nose to the afterlife, but you can bring a hat? My soul is definitely not gonna have brushed hair. Like this is the afterlife. I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. You're still gonna look cute. You're still gonna look so cute. Just a couple of blue baddies. That's all. Wait a minute. What about Mr. Mittens? Make sure I have a big mouth since I never shut up. Oh, Remy, <laughs> no. Well, that was a lot of emotions, but here we are, souls. Enjoy. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, and that means it's time to draw my husband. Over the years, I've drawn some uh, interesting pictures of my husband, but last year I drew him as my very own Valentine's Day princess. And what a beautiful princess he was! But this year, I thought I'd leave it up to fate and fuse him with somebody random. And who is lucky enough to be combined with my <laughs> Ursula? 
It's gonna be fabulous! So I have to somehow combine this fabulous sassy sea witch with Tree Look at you, Tree I decided to turn the eels into cats! So Ursula's got like quite the dump truck. But what about Rich? Is he all in any junk? I'm thinking yes. I can't wait to see what Rich is gonna say! Okay, look! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my best look at turkey dinner. It's Halloween! And that means it's time to draw my husband and my best friend! They have foolishly allowed me to design their costumes this year. I am going to be berries. Rich is gonna be cream! And a certain best friend is going to be a little lad! Drawing's done! <laughs> But now I gotta, I gotta make the costumes. <laughs> Couldn't necessarily find a cream costume for Rich, but I found a milk carton. I got you a morph suit. Try it on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I've forgotten about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we might need to cut the wig. <laughs> Mommy's gonna give me the little lad haircut. Don't do this. <laughs> you guys aren't ready for these costumes. Do you know what it's time for? Buddies! Buddies! Buddies and watch out! Cream! Cream! <laughs> I've already drawn Rich as a superhero, a fall guy, and a Disney villain. But Rich has been so excited to watch Godzilla vs. King Kong that I'm gonna... No, Richard, I'm not filming you. I'm not filming... So I wondered what would happen if I mixed this monster of a man with Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla is about 400 feet tall, so I'm gonna have to accentuate the bodaciousness of my boy. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love my husband, but I don't think he would say no to being so big that you could destroy an entire city. <laughs> now, I've already watched the movie, so I already know who, who wins, who wins. Richard, Richard, you can't hide behind the curtain. This is a surprise. Richard might be a big monster right now, but he's always been a big softie for cats. <laughs> now, I know that man's only gonna use his nuclear breath to make atomic hearts for me in the sky. Oh my god. I guess not only hearts, what? Say hello to Rich as Godzilla. Oh my god, look at the face. More like Sasszilla. Here you go, Rich. Here's your surprise. What? If, well, if that's how you feel about it, my. Okay, I've drawn Lightning and Sally. Nick and Judy. Toothless. Hold on. Donkey. Sid. Molly and Eve. And even Tom and Jerry as humans. But this time, you voted for Timon and Boom. Bye, yeah, yeah. So it's time to draw warthogs and ground. No nope, prairie dog. <laughs> oh, I picture Pumbaa to be very loving and sweet. Timon, on the other hand, I picture basically like Ed and Nettie. These two drifters find an abandoned child and decide to raise him as their own. Don't you hate it when you know you have your girlfriend over for the first time in many years and your adopted dads are in the next room singing about how you're doomed to fail at life? What? And then your and then your dead dad shows up as a cloud and lectures you on responsibility. What? <laughs> I certainly do. Oh, welcome to sort of like a like a lazy tourist what vibe to them. Warthogs. <laughs> do you mean warthogs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a college degree. Turn that note. Oh. Say hello to Timon and Pumbaa. Stabs in all the pride lands. Hold on, the next character's here. It's my dad's birthday. And like a good daughter, the best the best daughter in the world, I thought I would draw him. You know, I should probably specify, I'm drawing a picture of my dad and his husband, Chuck. <laughs> I drew them years ago at their wedding. <laughs> and it's, it's so bad. Like, I can't find it, but it probably looks something like this. But that looks so good. Shut up! <laughs> I'm giving my dad like a pretty good sized nose because we're like, a family of substantial sniffers. <laughs> you know, people say I look like my dad. <laughs> which, you know, is is fine until you realize that people say my dad looks like my grandpa. Which just means I know what I'm gonna look like when I'm old. <laughs> look, even your hair is turning white. <laughs> it's bleach! It's done! Now I just gotta drive over to their house in the middle of the night and get their reaction. Okay, open them. <laughs> <laughs> Draw something random. With the fusion generator. How did you know? Okay, who will our first character be? Oh, oh it's gonna be so cute. And who will he be combined with? Oh, oh no! I was so wrong. This is not gonna be cute at all. So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this little guy. With... Okay, real talk though. These two would not get along in real life. Like, Farquaad would not allow 
fairy tale trash to come in and ruin his perfect bud. Okay, I'm drawing his clothes, and I know that Olaf doesn't really wear clothes, but I refuse to draw a half-naked human snow squatch. Nobody needs to see that. Hey, Rich. What? Do you think he knows Samantha? What? Well, at least he knows the Muffin Man. What? Get ready for a new nightmare. Generator here. You guys, I really, need, I really need your help. My iPad won't turn on. I've tried different cords. I've, I've pressed buttons. I've pressed the buttons. It's, it's not even like showing up with the, with the little thing that says, "Oh, you need to charge me." You guys, this has all of my work on it. This has all of my artwork on it. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to reset it. I don't want to. I think it's time for a drawing challenge with Casey Art. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a random person here and we're gonna draw, not not him, <laughs> not my husband. <laughs> and then they are gonna pick which one of us they think is best. What is that? It's gonna be <laughs> We have chosen our tribute. <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Go! I, I forgot how awkward it is to yell in public. People are looking. What are you doing with Richard, my other tablet? Richard, what, what are you nothing? doing? What are you doing? Are you drawing? I told you it wasn't gonna be us. We're not gonna win. I'm doing the outfit. Oh, oh she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> Come back to me, sweet lady, so I can draw you. It's time. Here's Casey's. Look at them shoes. Here's mine. I think I think it's pretty good. And then <laughs> we have a late entry. And the winner is definitely this one. Ah! Richard wins. <laughs> Let's play a game. <laughs> Guess who with art. So here's the rules. Rich, uh, oh, me? that guy, <laughs> yes, is going to describe someone to me, someone famous, and I am going to have to draw them and see how close I can get. Okay, face shape, go. He's kind of built like a square. If you're just doing SpongeBob, <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, we have a square man. And how old is the square man? Um, he's kind of daddy age. <laughs> Daddy aged? We talking like daddy or daddy? Uh, kind of both. What? Daddy aged? Oh, and he needs to be disappointed in everyone around him. That I can do. Okay, hair. It's kind of messy and spiky. I think I know who it is. Oh. Okay, give me the hair color because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I know who it is. It's blonde. Dang it! Okay, here's my character. Who were you thinking of? It's Gordon Ramsay. Oh no! He's gonna be so mad. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> Woo! Uh, and who is gonna be first? Ooh, Mrs. Incredible Stretchy Queen! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Stretchy arms that can reach all the things. Are you okay? <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> it shouldn't exist! Oh. <laughs> Let me just say, <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry for making this! Find the generator in my bio. Let's draw something random with <laughs> the fusion generator. Why do you have a curtain? And who will our first character be? <laughs> oh, the fairy godmother, so sassy. And who will this queen be combined with? Oh! <laughs> Don't know. I have to somehow combine sassy <laughs> with swole. So basically, this person couldn't be more into themselves unless they were up their own butthole. Up top, he may be built like a truck. But <laughs> he definitely rides a tricycle. Oh no, Rich. What? Oh no, Rich, no. And every last inch of me's covered with hair. <laughs> okay, I know I complained, but I don't hate it. <laughs> Why don't I hate it? Stop it. Too much about myself. <laughs> I took this and this and give you this button. <laughs> Find the generator here. Hey, Rich. What? You want to play a game? Oh no. Well, too bad. It's 
Guess Who? So for those that don't know, this is Guess Who, a game where Rich <laughs> has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. So Rich, tell me about this man. Uh, well, he's really short, and okay. he's really happy. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's really short and happy. Oh, thanks, Rich. Here to help. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, are you? Are there any other details you'd like to give me? Well, he's got big ears. <laughs> big ears. He's wearing red shorts okay. and no shirt. Oh, he's shirtless, is he? And he's 92 years old. <laughs> Ew! I thought you were talking Baywatch, not Life Alert! Why is he wearing a watch? <laughs> because old shirtless men always wear Rolexes. <laughs> Assuming he has gray hair, then. Actually, he has black hair and it's black. all over him. <laughs> An old shirtless hairy man. <laughs> this is the least favorite thing I've ever made. Who is it? Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you guys know Call Me Chris. Yeah. <laughs> well, three times now I've drawn all of her characters. But Naya cannot rest. What are you doing? For she has made more. So without further ado, let's start with one of my new personal favorites. <laughs> You best move out of the way when Chriselle comes in the room. Move out of the way, Rich. What? Move out of the way, Rich! Chriselle's new TV show, Keeping Up With Chris, got me like Kim Kardashian hell. <laughs> this next character may even be less grounded in reality. I'm Amanda. Amanda definitely turns every single car ride into a therapy session. <laughs> Coincidentally, after you get out of her car, you also need a therapy session. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, we have my new colleague. <laughs> you know, I have been compared to other artists. I want to argue. But I know people like this. <laughs> you know what? I admit it. Gunter is superior. <laughs> this drawing is my Winchester mansion. It will never be done. <laughs> Who's your favorite? <laughs> There's this new AI filter that's been going around making some art, and I think we all know what needs to be done. It's an art showdown, and it's me versus the AI. I'm going to have the random drawing generator figure out what we're drawing. Who are we going to draw? <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> I'm not good at drawing animals. <laughs> what is the alligator going to be doing? <laughs> oh, he's an astronaut. In all serious, I'm actually... <laughs> So no, though. no, no, because this thing, this thing can reference like Da Vinci, and I'm over here drawing fettuccine legs. Are you feeling better? I am so much better. You know what? I've thickened him up, and now he's got both cheeks on Europe. He's pretty cute, but like, I'm still kind of nervous that the AI is gonna be better. Oh. So you used two different filters because what did you, what did you say? Uh, one of them was way too realistic. Realistic. Okay. <laughs> All right. Show them. Oh, realistic. God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> the generator here they say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette that being said hey rich yeah who's that silhouette That's eddie murphy so using donkeys <laughs> silhouette and only donkey silhouette i'm gonna create a brand new character i'm not allowed to add or subtract from this shape in any way which means i have to find uses <laughs> For all of these, I sh that's not a hand, right? So I've landed on this being like a mermaid tail, but I still don't know what this hairy bar <laughs> is going surprisingly well so far. Oh, I have yeah, not. Rather than wear her hands. <laughs> Dang it, Richard. Dang it, Richard! Why does it sound like you were waiting to say I, that? I was waiting for 20 minutes for you to add hands. She is a mermaid with no self preservation skills. She is coated in fishnets and not the good kind. Catch me, fisherman daddy. Catch me. <laughs> you ever had old fish for dinner? Do you want to? <laughs> Sorry. Introducing <laughs> Madame de Catfish. She catfished many a fisherman in her day. Put on the next character here. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> oh, I spy a dumpy. And who will our first character be? Oh, Russell from Up. And who's going to be combined with cute little Russell? Oh <gasps> I can't do this one, Rich. You can do it. No. So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this adorable little, little wilderness <laughs> jelly bean with a spicy octopus. I have restarted. Five times! I cannot! I can't get a middle point! <laughs> Help me! I hate... I... I hate it. I... <laughs> Fifth time's the charm! I went a little younger, and it's... It's not... It's not bad. She is going to be a marine biologist scout leader who's just... A little bit sus. <laughs> oh, and she definitely makes all of her students sing Disney songs on the bus. <laughs> I'm scout leader, Russell. I don't really want to sing Disney anymore. No, please don't take my voice! Say hello to scout leader! You can find the generator here.
Want to play a game? Uh, no. Well, too bad! It's guess who? So for those that don't know, this is a game where Rich has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get! Okay, Rich, give me them sweet, sweet deets on that face shape. Um, he's kind of shaped like a squishy, chubby muffin. <laughs> he's got, like, giant puss in his eyes. He's really cute in general. <laughs> Defining features other than the planet sized eyes. Yeah, he's got really big ears. Like, how are you thinking? 10 times bigger than that. <laughs> I feel so sorry for whoever this is. A tiny nose. Tiny nose. Tiny mouth. Tiny mouth. Wrinkles. <laughs> wrinkles? So many wrinkles. Are you serious? All of the wrinkles. Is this, is this who I think it is? He doesn't have mittens, honey. <laughs> Dang it! I was onto something. Just so you know, he's green. <gasps> it's Squidward, isn't it? <laughs> Who was it? It's Baby O. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> so for a while now, I've been working on one of the 50 states. <laughs> We're live. And you know, Rich, I think it's time for a recap. Oh, <laughs> so far we have Florida, Oregon, Minnesota, Arizona, Alaska, Wisconsin, Georgia, Utah, Washington, Colorado, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Hawaii, Ohio, Idaho, Nevada, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, Delaware, Montana, and Pennsylvania. I took a little break from the series. It was it was a lot. But I'm ready to get back into it, and I need your guys' help because I don't know enough about your states. So please, let me know what makes your state interesting. And what states do you guys want to see next? So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time we did our boy Mike. But this time, we're doing Jessica. Alright, first off, Jessica is the mom of the friend group. Not only is she busy taking care of everyone else, but her purse contains everything, including Kleenex, pain meds, and dry deer jerky. <laughs> if it's the apocalypse, find yourself a Jessica. <laughs> Jessica is really on top of everything, except for the thousands of DIYs she started and never finished. Let us have a moment of silence for all of the unused paint and contact paper. But you never finished DIYs Shh, no, 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 moment of silence. You know those signs in people's homes that say girl boss and but first coffee? Uh, yeah. She has all of them in her home. Coincidentally, fall is actually Jessica's favorite season. <laughs> the fresh smell of pumpkin spice on all of Jessica's sweaters. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you can't forget about the water stained Uggs. Holy buddy, make sure to say hello to your neighbor, Jessica. What name do you guys want to see next? It's Mother's Day. So I thought I'd draw my mom doing something random. All right, Mother, what are you doing? <laughs> an evil queen. Let me, let me tell you a little bit about my mother. My mom is the kind of person that will uh, like make you a healthy snack and take real good care of you when you're sick. But she's also the person that took me doorbell ditching as a kid and uh, flooded her college campus. So yeah. Needless to say, she's a pretty epic mom. Now, all that being said, I'm not sure how she's going to react to being an evil queen. Especially because I haven't seen her in like a year because of COVID. Oh, hi, mom. Haven't seen oh. you in a while. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing just fine. I swear I don't hate you, <laughs> even though I drew you as an evil queen. <laughs> well, <laughs> time to see how much my mom loves me. Now we just have to get the reaction. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, open them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to redraw my husband's artwork. Oh, but I'm just sitting down. <laughs> not sure working. You have to try. <laughs> Kicking and screaming the entire time. What did you make? It's Madame Pony. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so here's the goal. I have to redraw Madame Pony Guard in my own style. And you know what? Some days, there are days, there are days when I wonder, am I using my expensive art degree to its fullest extent? But then I get to draw people like Madame Pony Guard and her magical sheep. That's and I a think, horse. That's, that's obviously a horse. Who is it? I'm not changing it. It is Madame Pony Guard. It's too late. You can't win me over with your words. You know what? I was originally kind of worried about all the gold, thinking it wouldn't work. But it works since she has a sun on her head. That is a sun. Yeah. That's a sun? That's a sun. It's not some kind of weird cactus, no. is it? Well, I'm just checking. You never know. It could be a horse. This is the most stressful thing I've created, but everyone say hello to Madame Pony Guard. Is she everything you dreamed of, Rich? Yeah. Could have had a horse, though. I swear to God. What if the vaccines were alive? And you know we about to do Pfizer. Oh, say what? <laughs> 
with this idea that they're Hogwarts houses. I think he has like Ravenclaw vibes. Mmm, <laughs> Daddy Pfizer has quite the chest on. Sorry, Professor Daddy Pfizer. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Professor Daddy Pfizer. No, since he's, since he's 95% effective, I thought I'd make him 95% legs. You know how they store Pfizer in such cold temperatures? Well, I think I know why. You gotta keep this hottie on a. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what should he be wearing? I don't know, maybe a cardigan, maybe a sweater. I like mm. sweater. What do you, what do you think? Some pants? <laughs> pants? <laughs> you know, I got <laughs> Pfizer in me. I got that man inside me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, all, we all do, Casey. That man gets around. <laughs> you know, he's not just 95% effective. He's 95% attractive! <laughs> Daddy Pfizer. <laughs> they say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said... Hey, Rich. Yeah. Who's that silhouette? That's Clefairy. <laughs> so, using Pikachu's silhouette, and only Pikachu silhouette, I'm going to create a brand new character. <laughs> I should add that I am not allowed to add or subtract from this shape in any way, which means I have to find uses for all the spiky bits. I have been trying for 30 minutes <laughs> to add feet to this thing. I can't do it. Okay, had a break, had a snack, not that snack, came back and now she's a beaver. And you may be asking yourself, Audrey, how does her being a beaver make her any easier to draw? Well, now I made her foot into a pepper and she's jalapeno business. Oh. <laughs> now ch chilly out, bro. That's the worst. <laughs> I'm a genius. Pikachu's tail is now a speech bubble. It's Betty! Ah! I just gotta know, what if Disney princesses became villains? I've turned a lot of the Disney villains into some beautiful princesses. <laughs> but this time we're pulling an Uno reverse and seeing what would happen if we went the other way. Starting with a personal favorite, Rapunzel! <laughs> first things first, if she's a villain, she's gotta have more, more angles and, and sharp edges. As you know, if Disney's taught us one thing, it's not to trust a character with high cheekbones. <laughs> Makeup's on point. You better, you better be running from that joint. Zoinks! <laughs> Zoinks! I think we also gotta like, you know, age him up a little bit, cause all the villains are a little bit older than the princesses. Which, like, what exactly is that trying to say? Like, we all just get bitter and angry as we get older? You should look in the mirror, not at me. <gasps> and chose disrespect and sass. Don't you, don't you hide from me. I am living for angry Pascal. Come out now. No, oh. you're banished. Oh, she's ready. <laughs> I guess being stuck inside all day really did turn her evil. <laughs> so when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What does your name look like to me? Last time we did Chad. But this time you guys voted for Patricia. Patricia's are either really old or really young. There's just, there's just no middle ground there. And when she was young, she lived Listen to no one. Patricia! Get it together, sweetie. We have a show this weekend. <laughs> now that she's older, she still listens to no one. But that's more due to the hearing aids. <laughs> Trishas demand the finer things in life, even from, from their suitors, their lovers. Like a gigolo. What <laughs> <laughs> did you just say? Um, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to say it again. <laughs> First of all, that is not how you say that. Second of all, that is not what you think it is. <laughs> things in life you know like like opera and and pearl necklaces and <laughs> and olive garden what? bring me more breadsticks breadstick boy because you know what patricia's aged like fine wine expensive with perfect taste and just a little bit bitter <laughs> oh here's to you patricia you're better than the rest of us vote on the next name here okay we've drawn lightning and sally nick and judy toothless olaf Appa, a boy stitch mushu donkey and even Sid as humans. Hey, Rich. Why are we whispering? That's a lot of characters. Yeah. This time, you guys overwhelmingly voted for Wally and Eve. <laughs> you know what? I knew this day would come, and I have both been dreading it and dying to do it. <laughs> the hardest part of this is trying to make a human face to go with this. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. This is mainly going to be about personality. We got ourselves a post-apocalyptic body and a garbage <laughs> goober. <laughs> I didn't know you were in this movie. <gasps> I've decided to model his outfit after Cornelius from Hello Dolly. With one exception, his Sunday bests are made out of trash. <laughs> Eve looks like she stepped out of an episode of Star Trek. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. I couldn't figure out how to do her eyes, but then glasses. <laughs> also, Wally's tie is a Ziploc bag. I am, I am so good. <laughs> and here they are, Aww. they're so cute. <laughs> you two were the hardest thing I've ever had to draw. Vote on the next characters here. <laughs> I'm going to redraw my husband's artwork. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> uh, I don't draw. I do computer things. <laughs>
Well, today you make art. You make art for your lovely wife. <laughs> All right, let's see it. <laughs> oh, what is this? It's Sir Vinegar the Pickle. <laughs> so here's the goal. I have to redraw... Sir, Sir Vinegar the Pickle! <laughs> Thank you. I have to redraw Sir Vinegar the Pickle uh, exactly as he is, but in my own style. Richard, do, does Sir Vinegar have an axe? Yes. For a wizard staff for a particular reason. I'm kind of I'm kind of living for the feathers in his hat. Uh, what feathers? Those aren't feathers? Oh, oh they're feathers, they're feathers. <laughs> what are those, Richard? You know, I thought it was going to be bad, but I'm not really hating the blush. He's just going for like a, a Pikachu moment. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Sir Vinegar to Pickle is done. What do you think of your character, Rich? <laughs> I love him as much as a man could love a pickle. <laughs> what does that mean? Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. Oh, God. <laughs> Your belief in me is overwhelming. <laughs> Who will our first character be? Ooh, Elsa! Who will be combined with our icy queen? Oh, no. my God. <laughs> Squidward! How are we gonna do this one? <laughs> on the tentacle part of Squidward tentacles. She is thicker than a snicker, heavy like a Chevy. Come on, Calamari, let me, let me. I hate Calamari. Would, I would give my soul for this drawing to not exist. I hate myself for making this. Find the generator here. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. Woo! Uh, and who is going to be first? Ooh, Mrs. Incredible Stretchy Queen! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What are you gonna do? I don't, I don't know! <laughs> so for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this beautiful Kirby Queen with that! <laughs> this isn't working! Rich! Yeah. How do I make a Kirby Luscious I don't know. Okay, she's gonna have hips that don't lie, <laughs> but no thighs. Oh great, this thing's gonna have stretchy arms that can reach all the things. Are you okay? <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> this funny. thing shouldn't exist! Oh. Okay, let me just say, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for making this! Find the generator in my bio. So I heard that Fortnite is working with an artist to create a new character, and you know, I kind of want to try to make one, too. So with that in mind, what if my husband was in Fortnite? Oh, their new character's name is Cospeely, and he's like this big, cool banana man. Rich, on the other hand, I I know he looks like a lumberjack, and I'm going to make him one, but he's not quite... He could bring cotton candy to a battle and still win. I really do appreciate, like, the good character design they have for him. I really like these, these popcorn things coming out of his ears. I just had a thought, like, are those popcorn kernels? What are the... Those better not be teeth. This drawing is going in a slightly different direction than I assumed. <laughs> but like, I'm, I'm kind of here for it. The real question is what will Rich think? Richard, Richard, how do you feel about bananas? What? How do you feel about bananas? Um, I love bananas. You love them? Good. Why? That's great. What? What? That's great news. What? Talk about your forbidden fruit. <laughs> well, cause Peely and my husband are ready. <laughs> we just have to get his reaction. Okay, look. Do you like him? I love him. <laughs> I've drawn my husband as a lot of different things and a lot of different times. But what if other creators tried to draw my husband? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Am I ready for art talk? You are! So much concentration. So much concentration. I like that because I'm shaking. Yes. Yeah. Like, I didn't oh my god, I love it. Drake. And I said, well, I like a root beer. You gotta draw my husband. Yeah. It's time. Well, yay, I mean, yay. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little terrified. <laughs> I'm excited, though. Oh, oh my god! god. It's so cute! I'm gonna draw my husband. Okay. Stop moving. <laughs> Stop moving. Okay. Let's move. No, you're still moving. Stop it. I, 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 the I can I see. see the whole. Oh, oh, look at you. I think it's 
finally time we ask. What if spring was alive? As always, let's start with a sketch. So, I'm gonna make her vacuuming, you know, cause like, spring cleaning. I feel like she'd also look just a little bit tired, you know, like she just woke up, has to clean like Sleeping Beauty, move over! Spring has sprung, and she is fierce! Fierce. <laughs> what was that little number? It's okay, appreciate! <laughs> <laughs> Ingrid might have lost it! She's built like a tree, long legs for days! No, but like, I'm actually making her look like a cherry tree! I actually feel like Spring has that energy of that friend that you invite over to hang out, but all they want to do is clean your freaking room! You know who you are! I didn't clean your room, I cleaned your bathroom. Oh yeah! Big difference! She's got a bird's nest in her hair, you know, cause Easter, and also cause, you know, she's just a little chaotic. She's hot, then she's cold, she's cleaning up the snow. She's warm in the rain, it's springtime, and it's insane! Rich? What? I have art block! Oh. Get in here and help me! But I'm busy petting kitties. <laughs> can you please draw me some shapes that I can turn into faces? Fine, Luna, I guess you don't matter. <laughs> oh, so rich! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna draw me some shapes, some interesting shapes, and I, I'm gonna turn those shapes into faces! Okay, I can work, I can work with most of these, but... <laughs> what is this? I don't know, it could be a helicopter. <laughs> Okay, I'm ignoring that. We're starting with Lady Violet. I think Lady Violet bakes pies. How can you tell? It's in her smile. What? That is the face of a woman who makes Boston pecan pie. <laughs> this man looks like the guy who steals her lawnmower. No one's yard is better than my yard. I have, I have superior grass. Okay, this one's my favorite so far. <laughs> I made discount Bo Burnham. Hey, look, I made just some content. How could he this one? <laughs> when in doubt, make a carrot and a squirrel. So you've heard of Bones No Bones Day. It's about Noodles, the dog. Every day Noodles owner wakes him up and if you can stand, it's a Bones Day. And if you can't stand, it's a No Bones Day. So I'm gonna create a drawing for Bones Day and No Bones Day. What is a Bones Day? It's a good day. Oh. And a No Bones Day is a bad day. Oh. Let's start with No Bones. For this drawing, I really want Noodles to look like he's got no bones! No bones day is a good day for some self-care and to lay in a pile of your own drool. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's wrong with your bread? No, that's my dog. If a No Bones Day's got Noodles feeling weak, then I know what must be done for the Bones Day. <laughs> muscle pug, muscle pug, I'm drawing a muscle pug. Noodles doesn't look like spaghetti, he looks like a whole beefy ravioli. <laughs> Should you like bone puns? No. Really? You don't find them humorous? Uh, <laughs> Are you ready for the reveal? <laughs> Here's no Bones Day! <laughs> hey, you guys need to prepare yourselves for Bones Day. <laughs> Are you seated? Have you had some water? You need some water. Get some water. You got your water? <laughs> Have a great day. They say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said, hey, Rich. What? Who's that silhouette? Um, that's Remy. Nope. But that is Remy. Well, it's Remy for now. Using Remy silhouette and only Remy silhouette, I'm gonna create a brand new character. <laughs> I should say, I'm not allowed to add or subtract from the shape in any way, which means I don't know what I'm gonna do about their feet. <laughs> oh my God! You guys, you guys, you guys, <laughs> guys, guys, no, guys. Guys, this is gonna be a brew! <laughs> now that I know she's a witch, everything's coming together so perfectly! Everything! Except for the rat tail! I am a genius! The rat tail? It's a rat tail! Isn't that cheating? No! These are my rules! Audrey rules! Not Richard rules! These yeah, are Richard rules! Richard rules! He's the best! <laughs> yeah. I hate you! <laughs> Who's that silhouette? It's Remy! It's Margaret! It's Margaret? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Margaret and Sir Squibbles! <laughs> Who do you want to see next? <laughs>